name's Cern and I work at Hooga Digital Marketing. Uh, you've landed on our landing page and this particular guide, number six, is focusing on social media marketing. Um, so I'm going to quickly run through what is, in, is available within the white paper, which you download just here. Um, so, social media marketing, well, as you've probably gathered, it's covering the big guys. So this is Facebook, it could be Instagram, which is obviously an extension of Facebook, uh, it's Twitter and LinkedIn. There are obviously other social media networks, but I'm just going to be talking about those very briefly today. So Facebook itself, you may be aware, it is the most popular social media platform out there. It's got about 1 billion users, and so relatively popular. It's, I would say, more for a B2C market, business to consumer. And what a lot of people don't know is it's very powerful for how you can actually then use it on a commercial level in regards to uh, paid advertising. So um, all that lovely information we've been putting into Facebook, sharing our lives and what's been going on, whether we're getting engaged, having children, um, maybe changing jobs, going to social events, all that information, Google, um, or Google, Facebook's been very good at collecting that information and uh, is now available for you, a business owner who's looking to publicize. So let's just say you're a, uh, let's say you're a photographer and you're looking to uh, generate obviously new uh, leads to do uh, wedding shoots. What you can then do is you can then specifically say, I'm going to target people on Facebook who have just recently announced they've got engaged. Um, you will then obviously be able to focus on geographically as a very refined location because you may not want to be, you may be based in Brighton like we are and you may be wanting to uh, just focus around this area typically because you don't want to be traveling. So Facebook itself then can be very uh, strategic in honing down that area to a radius, um, which means then obviously you're very specific about who gets that. Um, there are lots of other factors you can go into. You can go into various different age groups, you can go into anything. It's very sophisticated. Um, if you're not using it, you really should. The general rule with anything social, yes, it's good to be seen to be very, you know, highly publicizing on it, very active on it, but you've got to remember that um, without paid, it's really, it's going to be hard to get some motion on that. So um, what I would always recommend is you look at the availability with Facebook, briefly touch into um, Twitter. The Twitter itself is generally speaking more of, I guess, an announcement service based. It's good for, I guess, communication in that regard. So if you're like in, uh, I don't know, customer services, it can be a very, very uh, good open channel for people to be able to get in touch with yourselves or if you need to make announcements. Um, Twitter does also do paid, which again, isn't as sophisticated as Facebook, but is very sophisticated. You've then got the other big one, which is LinkedIn. Now this is if you're a B2B market, business to business market. It's very clever in that regard. Again, you can be really focusing down. So let's just say you want to be targeting uh, marketing managers or CEOs or operations managers, or you want to be then honing down on individuals who work in a particular role within that company because that's the service which you feel that will connect with them. You can be very clever about how you're going to market that. It's very good. Generally speaking, we'd recommend obviously for uh, publicizing your business as a profile page, submitting lots of news articles because that in itself will generate a lot of traffic. So all you have to do, click the link, download it, enjoy. See ya.